123. I fear no evil. Thy rod and thy staff, they will comfort me. Israel as a nation, Genesis 32 and verse 28, says this, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. This is God's purpose in the Israel. Such a man goes through to a family, goes through to a nation, goes through to the ministry, all that that means. He is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. We are to be used. And our calling is to, like the word of God is used, the nation is to be used in his hand. What's that in your hand, God? Oh, that's Israel. Israel is the rod of his in And he's going to use it. He's going to use Israel in love. He's going to use Israel wisely. He's going to use Israel as only God can. It's wonderful. You have power with God and with man has prevailed. Israel is the rod of of his inheritance. Jeremiah 51, the portion of Jacob is not like them. For he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. So it goes from the sharp cutting edge to the loving crook of the shepherd, gently guiding those that were young. The whole spectrum of things. God can make the rod into everything. This is what we've been saying. He can do all the jobs. And Israel is called into a ministry to do all sorts of things, ranging from going out to battle in faith. We might have to fight, we might not. But the battle's the Lord's, and Israel's the role of his inheritance. Or understanding more gentle things about that word of God that comes to us in peace and in joy. At Jacob, let's just read this, Genesis 32, verse 10. What God does in a person's life. This could be true for all of us. If you take the rod of God to get started, what's going to happen? Well, I've been saying what happened to Moses. We've been looking at that and other things. But let's just look at Genesis 32, verse 10. Uh, he's coming back to his own family and, and land. And he says, I'm not worthy of the least of the mercies of, and of all the truth which thou hast showed unto thy servant. For with my staff, that's with my rod. I passed over this Jordan. Now I am become two bands. This is just one man's testimony. Before we get to Moses and all the Egyptian, just what happened to Jacob? Jacob says, I'm running from the life at the start. I'm crossing over the river. All I've got is a stick in my hand. You read the story, what he, how it all came about. He ran out, running away from Esau with, for his life. What's he got? He's got a stick. Shepherd's crook or whatever. And now he's coming back. God's blessed him. You read all the things that happened to his shepherd's crook. How the sheep, God, God blessed him and all, all the sheep are the right colour. He's multiplying in blessing as his flocks get bigger under God. He's, and God's blessing him in his family, the children, the wife. All the things that God's done. So I'm going to stop there. Time is gone. But, you know, let's be like David. My rod and my staff, they comfort me. Let's understand the generosity, the wisdom, the wonder of God. We might cross the, the stream running for our lives when we start with a rod, just one stick in our hand. What's that in your hand? Oh, just a stick. The world says, oh, you've only got a stick. <laughs> Hard luck. No, not if you understand this. You're coming back across, I've become two bands. Whole herds being driven. A rich man. God's blessed him in every respect. And I want to encourage you that. I want us to encourage ourselves uh, in the Lord. I want to encourage you that whatever it is we've got, it's the right thing. Devil also, you're in the wrong place, starting with the wrong thing, doing the wrong thing. That's the devil's lie. God says, to us, no, you're in the right place. You've got in your hand just what you need. I'm going to touch it and bless it. Yeah. And all I'm saying to you is, what have you got? What's in your hand? The rod of God. It might be all sorts of things. You've certainly got this one. And that's enough for everything. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Praise the Lord. Thank Praise you so much, Michael. We've been challenged, haven't we? Mm-hmm. And uh, we just thank God because He just takes that which is a part of our life and our everyday situation. It was just a rod. Just an everyday rod. And God took hold of that rod. And we thank God for what was shared this afternoon. It's a challenge to each one of us. Shall we pray? Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you because every one of us has in our hand what is necessary and what is needed at this hour. We realize, Lord, that we are your people. We are the sheep of your pasture. That you have called us to the kingdom for such a time as this. And we do believe, Lord, that there is a work that each one of us can do that no one else can do. We believe that we have been called of you. And we ask, O Lord, that we might have that faith that goes beyond and looks beyond the circumstance and the situation. So often we get caught up with the terrible things that are happening in the world. But we thank you, Lord, that we dare to believe that you have brought us into this situation that there might be changes that will take place because your people put their trust in you, the living God. We thank you, Lord, because no matter what our inadequacies may seem to be or that we may feel to be, Moses felt inadequate in so many ways. But we thank you because you used that rod that was in his hand. And we thank you, Lord, for so many things that we have in our hand, practical things, and also your word. And we pray that we might be used through our testimony, through sharing the things that we know, not to beat people as it were, but that we might, Lord, use wisely the word that you have given to us, that it might edify and that it might cause there to be fruit in people's lives. And so we thank you, Lord, for the challenge we've had this afternoon. Thank you for your ongoing blessing during this convention time. And we just pray, Lord, that you will continue to bless in the precious name of Jesus, especially as we celebrate the many years of blessing that there have been in this fellowship. And we thank you, Lord, because we not only give you thanks for that which is past, but we trust you for that which is to come. Bless the food and our fellowship together, we pray, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And so we, as we go for our, our evening meal together, we're going to be gathering together later on for this.